Hi everyone, I'm Tim. I'm Kat. And we're back on the sofa. Uh, we haven't done one of these for a little while, so we thought it'd be a, a good opportunity to have a little sit down and a chat about a particular topic that's mm -hmm. been in the news recently. And uh, I'm referring to the EV car grant that was announced. Um, so uh, yeah, um, do you want to briefly explain what, it, what it's all about? or shall I, Well, shall you're going to dive into some details, yeah. but I think we've been... We've been talking a lot about this, um, and a lot of people have been talking a lot about this. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of debate about the nuance of it. You can say a lot about you know what money is going where, but I do think overall, I have to come down on the side of anything that is promoting EVs. It's got to be a good thing. Yeah. I, yes. Yeah. Definitely. We've probably got some debate about yeah. exactly where the money is going and what it's being spent on. Yeah. But yeah, I cannot argue with the fact that promoting EVs is a is a really good thing, and that's what the government are trying to do. Yeah. So yes, so, as an uh, overall thing, I think it's really good. But uh, let's talk a bit about those details. Yeah. So the details of this, and um, basically, uh, there are a couple of other good videos if you've not seen them already by Tom Bray and um, Upside Down Fork. So I'll I'll link to both of those. Uh, go check those out as well. They they go into a little bit more detail. Um, but just briefly, six hundred and fifty million pounds has been. Um, provided uh, as a, um, a series of grants um, for e purchasing new EVs below £37,000 um, that are up to £3,750 uh, for the cars that are most uh, compliant. And by that, we think what they mean is the most sustainably manufactured, things like that. Um, we think there are two categories, £1,500 and £3,750, depending on the relative yeah. uh, sustainability of the of the manufacture of that car yeah. um so yeah that's going for the next few years it's already in place i believe now um there are a handful of cars that we know of that comply yeah um well we'll come back to that in we'll a come back bit, to, to that in a minute in a little bit but it, that this is in in the context of a wider um announcement which in, also included 63 million pounds for um improving home charging mm -hmm. which in, uh, and in particular um cross pavement solutions so trying to get um, charging cables across pavements or you know underneath pavements through channels and things like that to to assist with um, houses that don't have off street parking yeah. to make charging a little bit more accessible for those sorts of people and of that 63 million 8 million has been um, earmarked for the NHS um, in which includes installing charge points at uh, various sites and in, uh, increasing the number of EVs in the NHS fleet so that's all good yeah. um, but uh, yeah it, well it's interesting that isn't yeah. it you've then got and you pointed this out this morning you're saying 63 million for that yeah and 650 million yeah. for the actual Grant for, the EV for grant. actually buying new EVs, so which 10 is ten times as much. Yeah, is, more than ten. On times the face of it, that seems kind of crazy, and I think this has been a sticking point for people. It's like, well, surely the the sticking point right now for people buying EVs. I might be wrong, but I'm not sure it's the price of a new EV. I mean, the price of a new car generally I think, is yes, an issue for all, people. All new cars, regardless of powertrain, yeah. are expensive. Absolutely, like, there's no denying that. Yes, there's definitely thing people buying new EVs, but or buying new cars. But the price of new EVs has come down. It, it's close. It's, yeah, there's, there's not quite parity, but it's close. And I'm not sure that's the sticking point. No, within the last what year, twelve mm. months or so, we've definitely seen things like you know Renault Five, um, Duchess Spring, that sort of thing coming online that um, uh, certainly make it more comparable to you know an internal combustion engine car in terms mm. of buying a new one. Um, obviously, a lot of Cars are purchased secondhand now, anyway, and you, there are some great secondhand bargains out there for yeah. for EVs now. Um, you know, we bought a secondhand Renault Zoe, um, and that was very reasonably priced. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, yeah. The, the reason yeah. we the reason we're interested in this is actually because we, although we did purchase that Zoe secondhand, it was as a stopgap because we're interested in purchasing a new EV, a new you, small EV. You're jumping ahead now. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting ahead of yourself because what I was going to say was. The, the sticking point isn't the new buying the new, new e cars. the yeah. price of new cars generally, including EVs. If mm. that's not the problem, putting that much on that part of it compared with sixty three million for the home charging, yeah. which I think is the sticking point. People yeah. who don't have access to driveways and home charging, yes. that I think, or out and about and public charging being expensive, I feel like that is more of a barrier. Mm. But there is an extra bit to this that you spotted on here yeah. as well. So while I was looking into the, the press, various press releases, I noticed that actually um, this is on top of uh, 
400 million pounds that has already been announced prior to this uh, for improving the the wider charging infrastructure so that's things like um, you know service stations on the motorways and things like that so the main travel routes to improve long distance driving so that's already there's already 400 million pounds earmarked for that so it does make um, it a bit better so that's yeah so that was interesting <laughs> but i would argue that actually the, the charging infrastructure is already progressing uh, rapidly and um, is um, pretty usable as it, as it stands yeah. obviously there's always room for improvement but it, i don't think it's the long distance driving that is the main sticking point for most people. I think it's actually things mm -hmm. like destination charging, yeah. car parks, right? So when you go to the supermarket or the gym, um, or yeah, or the gym or a restaurant, or yeah. you know, um, if you just, could just parking, plug in. parking in town or whatever it is, yeah. uh, that would help a lot of people who don't have off street parking. Mm. Yeah, um, that would I think go a long way to helping them feel more comfortable. Yeah knowing that they can literally drive to any car park and, and charge up. I think that that money, yeah. I don't know whether the, the 400 million pounds, yeah, fine for, for, for the wider infrastructure, but the yeah. 650 million pounds, you could take, you yeah. could take you know, 10% of that, double the amount yeah. that you've got, the, the 63 million pounds that's been yeah. dedicated to the home charging and say, okay, another 60 million odd for destination charging. I think that would actually yeah. be probably better better spent that way i think it probably would and i think that's echoing what a lot of people have said you know yeah. it's say like, I, I don't want to be you know saying oh it's you don't want to be negative about it because no, overall uh, overall i think it is the a good messaging thing. Yeah. from this is really positive yeah. but yeah i think it I'm sure probably could have been divvied up a bit better maybe I, I would hope that some smart people have decided where best to spend the money and this is what they've come up with but you know Let's who knows so. there's always going to be a debate about that so um aside yeah. from the some for you know where, how much you uh, think should go to various places yeah. um, just saying okay there's a car grant brilliant um, personally do we would we would that change our any of our decisions well I don't know actually it might I mean the bottom line is that this is where I think we have a, another sticking point with it is that technically we're going to buy a new EV we were going to anyway and yeah. do we need that money off not strictly speaking, no. no. Not strictly. I mean, Would it it's help? going to be very nice. Absolutely. <laughs> but it's yeah. not going to that. We're still going to buy a new EV. Yeah. Um, so the grant isn't going to change what we do. Not no. It, wouldn't, it probably wouldn't change the decision. But it is. Yeah. So we didn't need that grant to help us make that no. decision. But at, but for some people, maybe it would because yeah. you've Could got those two levels. But yeah. nearly four thousand pounds off a new EV. Yeah. That is a. It's yeah. a fair whack. Well, for reference, for example, um, the cars that we've been mm -hmm. looking at um, include things like the um, Hyundai Insta, the Renault 5, the Cupra Raval, which um, hasn't been uh, fully announced yet, but that's that's one of the reasons why we're sort of holding off a little bit, because that was one that was on our, high on our list. And the, the Nissan, Nissan Micra, Micra, which is basically the same as the Renault 5 with a mm. with, you know, different bodywork. Which but wasn't out when we've talked are, about previously. If you've seen any of our previous yeah. videos talking about our sort of yeah. uh, EV decision-making process, the Nissan Micra was that not That wasn't announced at the time. So, announced. yeah, that's that was what that became so, added, uh, that mm. got added to our list. But, yeah, basically we're talking small um, uh, B-segment, um, you know, small uh, hatchback type cars. Yeah, and uh, there's loads more, but that's just super, our short list minis, that we've yeah. got to you over. Um, um, and in fact, the Insta isn't actually no. So we um, sort of discounted range. the Insta because of the range, and um, it's not really sporty enough for our um, general, you know, enjoyment of driving and all that. Yeah, for his uh, <laughs> um, but uh, it does look like a cracking car. And um, yes. if we were to, if we were buying a second car, I think the Insta oh, would yeah. be way up there. Um, it's so practical yeah. and. Three thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds. Well, this is it. So of all that. of the all of these cars are well well sub thirty grand, um, some closer to twenty than thirty. The Insta does qualify. I've confirmed does mm. qualify for the full three thousand seven hundred fifty pounds off, which is, you know, that's going to be what fifteen percent of the cost of that car. That's huge. Um, which is a crazy discount. So yeah. you know that would be amazing if you that were, if be, you were if interested in the we needed a second car that would be um, a cracking second car the renault 5 renault expects it to be qualifying uh, it's not been completely confirmed but they do believe that it will but we um, don't know which level we don't know which level the, i'm gonna i'm gonna pricing. assume it's gonna be the 3750 because and again that is a great discount off that, that would be car. a brilliant discount because i think the the spec that we were looking at we did a test drive there's a there's a video that where you can see us doing our test drive the spec that after the you know the various options that we wanted to add was just about 30 grand mm. so that would be you know more than it more than 10% discount, yeah. which would be brilliant. The Nissan Micra, we presume it's going to be in a similar 
vein to the I mean, we don't Renault have 5. even the initial pricing on the Micro yet. So I'm guessing it's going to be similar to the Renault 5. It is going to be similar, isn't Not it? Not dissimilar, maybe a little. Well, who knows, really? Um, but the Reval, all bets are off. We have no, no, <laughs> no idea. idea. Um, no. The, and obviously, the Reval is, is based on the platform that the ID2 is um, also using. So, you know, the ID2 would be another great option. We don't not like the look of the ID2 as much as the Renault, as the Reval, but, um, you know, that's an option for people. Um, so I expect those. I'm, I would. I would assume that those would be they're, qualifying they're as well. They're all ones I really am hoping will be qualifying. Yeah. But there's the question. Flipping it back to what you said earlier, would it change our decision making process? Was, because at the moment, wasn't. the Insta we like, but is out of the picture because yeah. of the range. The Renault Five we've test driven really like and is lovely. Um, the yeah. and then the Micro is probably going to be very very similar. Although yeah. there are queries around whether that might have actual one uh, pedal driving yeah although they, there was a rumor they that might they would it. add that to the Renault 5 so yeah. yeah so i don't know so those two are obviously both very very nice basically the same car but just look yeah. different yeah. both both really good yeah. um and we don't know you know the reval is our front runner but we don't know anything about no, it but so would it change if the if the reval didn't if qualify the reval didn't qualify but the Renault 5 and did. the Renault 5 or the micra qualifies yeah would Certainly that for the, the three thousand seven hundred and fifty pounds, would it would it change? Like we it's really good, we're really hanging on for that Reval, yeah. but nearly four thousand pounds off. Could, it could make all the think? difference. I mean, if the Reval qualifies, it, it I mean it almost certainly will qualify for one or the other. So it, you know, even if it qualifies it, for the fifteen hundred pounds off instead of the three thousand seven hundred fifty, um, yeah. that might be just enough. You know, who knows? Mm. But. Um, yeah. That's going to be an interesting decision. Let's hope we don't actually have to make that decision, but no. it's definitely been in our minds. So, yeah, I don't think it's that long before they properly announced the specs and the price of the Reval. There was rumours it there was rumours September. So, yeah. this is what we're holding out for. So, another month and a half, mm. two months maybe at the most and yeah. um, before we can talk more about that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all to play for. Um, and actually, the fact that we didn't just go for the Renault 5 has yeah. now actually played into our favour as well, <laughs> so, hasn't it? We've yes. kind of lucked out on that one because yeah. we now have the option to see which of these cars qualifies for the levels yeah. of grant and if that is going to sway our decision. Yeah. Um, either way, yeah. So, yeah, we, we got lucky on that yeah. one. Um, you know, and we got I, to have the Renault Zoe for a bit and try it, which yeah, we, actually... We, so far, we've really I'm liked the Zoe. really think, liking um, that yeah. as a car. We've talked more about that anyway, but... Yeah, it's a, a really nice little car. It's I'm enjoying it doing, at the moment. Doing really well so far, so good. Um, but yeah, yeah, in terms, so shall we? Shall we summarise um, what we've been talking about? Yeah. Um, do we think that the grant is a good thing? Overall, yes. Yeah, it I has would say to be. so. I think you know, absolutely yeah. can't hurt. Could it be? Could that money have been better spent? Yes. Probably. Probably. Yeah. I, I think um, probably so. I think destination charging and more provision for home for home charging that's currently difficult. Absolutely. The fact that they put sixty three million pounds into that pot anyway, brilliant. Um yeah. could it be more? Probably. Um, you know, you can debate all you like about that. Maybe, maybe they will um, reshuffle but, things. I don't know. Maybe there'll be knows? more yeah. in future. Who yeah. it, this is maybe just an opening but, gambit. Yeah. Because you know, when we when we talk about Talk to your parents, for example, about whether they would get an EV. One of the things that keeps coming up is, oh, they've heard that the the charging infrastructure is terrible. Well, these guys these guys have got a, a, a car, um, a driveway. They can charge on on the driveway. Their main issue is um, being able to drive down the motorway for four, four hours. Mm. So, you know, maybe the maybe the wider charging infrastructure it, it, maybe is it actually the, the thing that would that would improve there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, opinion of, of EVs. Um, I think they will get an EV, um, just a matter of time. Uh, but so that four hundred million that's already been, you know, set aside for that. Yeah. Maybe that's what will 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 yeah. help. Just the so. the sheer idea of putting money towards promoting EVs. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, are we uh, are we glad that that we're going to be able to make use of it? I think so. <laughs> uh, well, I think so. I'm definitely um, not turning that down. I mean, that would just be a bit silly, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I'm sure we're going to get people who are like. Oh, you know, you're just taking taxpayers' money and stuff. Well, yeah, okay, but if you were able to take advantage of that, you would as well, wouldn't you? So, you yeah. know, we, yeah. we 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 got lucky. We happened to be in the right place at the right time. So maybe it's you know we've uh, we've done well on that side of things. Yeah. Uh, if it wasn't available, we still probably would have made the made the same. We decision, probably would, so. but for some people, I think it might make that difference. Yeah. It is enough that for some people, if you were on the fence, you weren't quite sure whether you were going to get one or not, hmm. it is an amount that could make a difference. So for us, it might not. Uh, yeah. 
Um, um, but we're not going to turn I it think, down. But for some people, it will make a difference. So that is really good. I think one argument some people who are going to be against this sort of thing will say is that, well, the manufacturers are just going to just going to take that uh, grant and then jack the price up anyway yeah. to compensate. So they're going to be just getting more profit for the sake of, um, you know, uh, yeah. for the taxpayer paying for Well, we'll see that. if that happens. But so far, it doesn't look like it. Like the Insta, literally just they took that 3750 off. So, you know, uh, yeah. I think the natural competition you would hope would keep it honest uh, well, I'm sure there are going I guess to be we'll some, wait and see how that shakes there's out there's going to be some cynical people who are, who are going to say that all the, all, the, all the manufacturers are going to take the money and run anyway but well anyway we shall see but yeah. um, anyway I think overall things are heading in the right direction EV prices are coming down all the time yeah. um, infrastructure, you know, the is, infrastructure getting is getting better yeah lots of positive it news is all, it is all um, good so I think uh, we'll take this as as a positive and we'll uh we'll let you know what <laughs> yeah. what, what we decide as and when yeah. whether whether the reval announcement is going to be enough to for us to I guess, just go with that or i guess we will perhaps pop back up on the sofa here um when the reval is announced maybe in september if they do that announcement we, we will, will talk, have another chat come about back that and do an update <laughs> and tell you whether we think we'll uh we'll go with we'll go with that or um or, or go back to the Renault 5 which is our current front runner so yeah We've probably witted on long enough, haven't we? I think, uh, yeah, I think, I think we probably have. <laughs> All right, well, uh, this has been fun. Uh, we'll catch you again some other time, but thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye.